Hey everybody, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. We wanted to bring you an update on our mystery plant because we've solved the puzzle. A few days ago we made a video showing this plant because my wife and I for the last couple of years have been trying to figure out what it is and we asked you for your help. We got some answers, I took notes here. Okay, Ryan Johnson and Mary Roberts thought it might be some sort of wild cherry tree and Ryan Johnson even thought it might be some sort of plum tree because of the shape of the leaves and whatnot. Um, Sharon Barrett thought it was some strand of poplar and the, the bark on the tree really does look like poplar. Um, Rav Monk from the UK suggested it might be Red Robin and as I replied to him in the comment section last year, I thought it was Red Robin too because of the reddish hue of the, um, the leaves, but Red Robin is indigenous to the UK and Australia not in North America, though you can get it here. And, and Red Robin is an evergreen, and Rav Mock, uh, uh confirmed that for me when I asked him to, and that's why I ruled it out last year, because these are deciduous, whatever they, they are. They lost their leaves in the fall. But Lisa Bolin, it turns out, had the right answer. Lisa Bolin suggested that these mystery plants might be what's called sourwood. So I Googled it, and the pictures and the information confirmed that Lisa Bolin was correct. This is sourwood. Now, I'm what I'm standing in, and I'm almost six feet tall. You can see there's some that's taller than me. It's fast growing. It's deciduous. It's listed as both a bush and a tree because based upon its environment, it can be either. Uh, you'll notice it's in an open field here where ours is growing. And honey, show them that big oak tree right there. You see a giant oak tree. Okay. Now, uh, Wikipedia, which isn't always correct, but it seemed to be correct this time, said that sourwood prefers to grow in an open field where it doesn't have any competition for, with its roots. It doesn't like root competition, and for some reason it grows uh, around oak trees. So if you can get close to an oak tree in a field, now it'll grow in the woods, but now when it grows in the woods, it will typically remain a bush rarely getting more than six or eight feet tall because of the, the uh, competition for rooting with other plants. It just, it needs a lot of space for its roots to get big. But since this is growing in a field we're allowing to go fallow because we want a forest, mm -hmm. this sourwood might actually get to 60 to 90 feet high. If the other trees, you can't really see them, but they're poplar, redbud, some maples and even some uh, eastern red cedars growing in here but it looks like the sour wood is winning out with the root competition and if we let them grow which it is our plan to let them grow these may get 60 to 90 feet high so lisa bolin thanks for helping us solve that riddle everybody else thanks for chiming in and uh, we now know that if we have any other plants or trees around here that we can't figure out what they are we're going to come ask you our subscribers on youtube so if you enjoyed this video and you want to play the what is this plant game in the future, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.